In Trekland, we're here once again, our annual visit at the Hallmark booth at Comic-Con San Diego, crazy days. And of course, if it's Comic-Con and it's Hallmark, that means one thing, sardines. No, 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 it means Kevin Dilmore is going to show us, uh, author and bon vivant still, uh, what's going on with the ornaments of Star Trek this year and coming up. So here's Kevin. Oh. I'm there. Kevin. How are you? Hey. Is the red dot happening? The red dot is on. Oh, I'm yes. So happy. I'm glad. I know. So, Good thing. Pleasure to see everybody. Official. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Hey, we're going to talk about Star Trek for a while. Oh, no. Actually, I'm going to tell you something that no one at the con even knows. Not now, but later. Okay. So, we're going to start so, off. So, okay. Don't touch that dial. No. Okay. We have, as usual, three ornaments in our Star Trek series. We have a character, mm -hmm. a figurine, we have a ship, and we have a scene. All right. Let's okay. start with the character. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah. I think I know who that is. Uh, yeah, we do. We in actually fact, had peaks of all these last year. But. We did. This was a sneak last year that you'll notice is now fully realized this year. In fact, it's kind of swinging, so I'll move it this way. Right. Um, we, I had the opportunity to share the prototype of that last year with Michelle Nichols personally and when we were at Starfest in Denver. At so Starfest in Denver. Very so, nice. So yeah. now... Um, you will notice when you see that in our advertising that it will be advertised as the final in the Star Trek Legends series. And if yes. you start doing the math, wait a second, we have Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Scotty, Sulu, and Uhura, and Uhura's the final? For those Stay of you tuned. store at home. Stay tuned. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to look at the scene. Yes. We go up here. This was paper last year, and here we have it in all its 3D glory. We do. Um, that is called The Needs of the Many. I got to name that myself. And that is well, what else would you one would say the iconic scene from Star Trek II. Yeah. Um, it's just something that does, it's a little bittersweet for us in that it was the last time for us to work directly with Mr. Nimoy. Oh, yeah. This who is a who he did yeah. approve that himself uh -huh. um, before he passed. So we are very proud, very, it's it, like we said, I mean, you know, ornaments that, uh, that we always attach our memories to them. They certainly mean more than just what they represent. For this to come out in the year that he passed is meaningful to us as well. Right. So, I feel like the detail is pretty good. Yes. It does have sound, which would be impossible to hear in this venue, but uh, okay. you press that button right there. and This one? Yeah. You can give it a try. Probably going to be edited, but okay. So, yeah. Especially when the poll on this kept getting further and further uh, over. Sorry. I was like, and where does it go down? So, so, so uh, and now we go to the ship. Uh, the ship we're very excited about because it's a little bit of an anniversary. Uh, this is yeah. the 25th anniversary of the episode uh, of Yesterday's Enterprise. We talked about this last year. We did. How that so, all aged us a little bit. Exactly. In a good way. Uh, in a good way. We love now, that show. last year, shown on paper, this year fully realized. Yes. Uh, if I may. Oh, please. Oh. USS Enterprise 1701C. Not a scratch on her. <laughs> No bloodies, A's or B's. Right, right, right. But I mean, it's uh, BV. It's before Vortex. Yes, indeed. But no, it's, uh, in fact, actually uh, one of the things that we are kind of keeping in our back pocket, potentially, uh, uh -huh. for exclusive exclusivity, a uh, battle damage version. Oh, okay. So, we, we very much wanted this ship of the line to be as clean as it was when she came off. Yes. I think that's what most people would want on their Christmas tree. I think so, too. You press that again, top of the bridge. Huh? Oh, yes. There we go. There you go. 
So that's 2015. That's 2015. Here. Would you like to take a look at what we have for the 50th anniversary? Master. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Can you, you have the 50th it? product here? We already? have product for the 50th anniversary right here for you people. Okay. Well, let's go take a look. Let's go here check it out. It's, yes. I hear we're here at uh, Crazy. I'm going to follow you. All right. Um, we're going to pivot. We're going to pivot. Here in our crazy, give a taste right of what here. Comic Con is like and uh, watch me thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, well, these oh, look like little... If you hear all that creaking, it's because we went on our knees. Oh. Itty bitties is Looky something here. that Hallmark has been doing for I mean, a few years now. You've got several there. Yes. Uh, they uh, All sorts of licenses. You can check it out at Hallmark.com. Right. But we've for the 50th got, anniversary, uh -huh. our first Star Trek itty bitties. Oh. We're, these are going to be sold in a set of four. Uh huh. So if you want one, you're going to get them all. Um, you, you have Mr. Spock. And then Captain Kirk. Dr. McCoy with his tricorder. <laughs> and Lieutenant Uhura with her receiver in her ear. Oh, it is. How about that? Did somebody like suggest that or hold out for that? I, I cannot take credit for it, but I thought it was pretty cool. Yes, it is. So I like it, is. it is. I like that. Very nice. Um, we are going to uh, have a figure, or I'm sorry, a, our scene ornament for 2016, The Man Trap. Uh -huh. As you can imagine the significance oh, being yeah. the, the first broadcast Can you unhook it because it's very blue back there? Oh, absolutely. Is that possible? Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I said it looked very sculpted, even as a piece of yeah, uh, thank you. We're gonna, as a we're, piece of paper. Yeah. It looked very good. Yeah. We're going to call that Pass the Salt. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. Pass the Salt. It'll be just called the Man Trap. Yeah. So, uh, um, very nice. And then for our ship, mm -hmm. I'm going to pull this out just so you can yeah, go ahead. notice. Above the itty bitty's the head. The bar aboard the Enterprise. The Man Trap. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, so, uh, done in gold. This is our oh. first model of the uh, of the filming model from the first pilot, the cage. If you notice, this is the cage. But yeah, yeah size of the bridge, the spines on the front of the nacelles. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe the, uh, um, the, the where's the, the balls dishes on bigger. the ends of the cage? Well, that I don't think you can see them. Now, were the balls? No, on I'm the kidding. No, they weren't. They're flat. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, when uh, the grills. Yes. So totally. Uh, uh, this is going to be uh, presented in gold, not 24 karat, but just paint. Uh -huh. uh, for the 50th. Uh, again, an option for a repaint down the road, potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You never know. So now, you I told you know. that I was going to, something that has not been uh, really officially announced. Note that I said that Lieutenant Uhura was the last of the Star Trek Legends series. Well, that, that didn't out. quite add up on the math there, Kevin. I know, which means for for 2016 in July, it keeps the government premium, we're going to have it in limited quantities and some checkup. A mid year. A, a mid year release. Okay. To round out the series. Okay. So we so for those of you who are concerned that uh, hey Hallmark did did made it to six and didn't get to the whole seven, it actually will be the very first ornament that Chekhov has ever been featured on. Okay. So there's been no Chekhov so, until now. So yeah. that's what all that Russian screaming has been about. <laughs> ah, precisely. Yes. So, so yeah, we don't so have a prototype here. We don't have a pay, a two D. Uh, that's correct. We're just going to take this one on faith. Uh, d please do. Okay. Uh, okay. One more. One yes. More. Oh, cool. Sure. This is a that would be four. very early design. This is okay. actually going to be a tabletop display created by Keepsakes, but not an ornament. Similar to what we did oh. for the 75th anniversary of Wizard of Oz uh -huh. um, back in uh, 2014, if I'm doing the math right. This will feature Kirk, Spock, and McCoy on the bridge uh -huh. with dialogue from the original series. Oh, great. Some iconic exchanges between the three of them. And uh, I listened to all the sounds that got selected for this, and I love it. Great. I think they're great. Great, great, great. McCoy leaning on his chair arm. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, so yep. Kirk got the legs crossed in the whole smash. Where he always should be. Well, very cool. Yeah, so we're very excited to show that off. This is the first time we've shown it anywhere. And, and then we're looking at the special checkoff mid-year. and that'll, then, be, that'll be in July of 2016. Right. Along with everything else. Oh, these will all be on I in believe July? they'll be in July. Um, if something, uh, I think we want them in stores before September. Right. This time. Which is the departure. Normally they'd be in the, Norm, no, a normally little later. The Star Trek ones come out in July. Oh, they do? Okay. In time for Vegas. How about that? <laughs> Very good. So yeah, so that's it. Well, good, Kevin. So tell me what's what's a, while we're here on our knees. 
Oh, well, hey. <laughs> with, down with Pardon the little, me. with the little, uh, what are they? Uh, itty bitties. The itty bitties. Well, we're down here with the itty bitties. Uh, what's up on the riding front? In November of this year, the last weekend, last Tuesday in October, will be our next novel together, Seekers 4. Right. Um, that will come out then, and then we're working on a book. Otherwise known as the Blish Cover Cool series. Yes, we're very happy with Cool that. for many other things besides the cover. But, Hope so. But yes. But uh, we certainly like the covers. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we'll have another book together coming out in September of 2016. Okay. And uh, Dayton's got a couple of novels uh, of his own uh, out already. Um, he's going to kill me for not remembering the. Uh, it's the next gen. I'm not going to come with the title. We'll just we'll just uh, like run it down here. Right there. Thank you. Yeah. So and uh, yeah, he's got some solo work coming up as well. Good. So. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, Paul Mark. Yes. And uh, this is like a tradition now. It has been. This is our which, fourth or fourth year or so. Yeah. Yeah. Doing this, yeah. and we actually got the button push this time. Ah. So it's a one take wonder. As are all the Harmark. Oh, the itty bitties are great. Uh, people, how long has the line been in existence? Uh, it's, this is about our second full year. Of okay, so the Star Trek ones are in early. Yeah, they're, yes. they're some of the first ones. Pretty new. Awesome. Well, they're an obvious choice. Thank you. So we'll just uh, wave goodbye there to Lenny and uh, say thanks again. I think, I think he's doing a little longer prosper right there, dude. <laughs> okay, Kev. I won't say anything about them holding hands. I, I, I mean, do they do slash itty bitties? Oh, I don't know. Okay. For the man trap. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin. Thanks a lot. Thank you.